They need to change it all up. Pat, I mean, Pat Riley's number one without a generational type of talent. When you talk about generational people, he's had three of them. Right? His legacy, you can be the next Pat Riley. Well, hold on, wait, relax. He's had three generational talents. That's all his championships are under. Shit, Magic and Kareem. Mm -hmm. Say, yeah. James, where, I mean, I mean uh, James Rose wasn't a but generational talent, but I'm just saying. You? North Carolina's fine. No, what I'm saying is that Magic and Kareem, you had both of them winning championships, and then you went to try to do something else. You had Dwayne Wade, then you got Shaquille O'Neal, right? You won. And then you got rid of them. And then you got LeBron James. When you're talking about the generational, those different makers, that's who your championships have been built off of. You never won a championship with teams or uh, wasn't it? So Jimmy is basically the only player that's gotten you close to it. Close to it. Zero, how many teams have won without generational talent? Steph is not a generational talent. Detroit. Steph Curry. Steph is not a generational. Steph not a generational. You know what a generational? Wimby is a generational person. Steph became a great back. Generational means you can't mimic it. You can't mimic at number one. Can you, you can't, can you mimic Magic Johnson? 6'9", point guard with the vision. No. You can't mimic Shaquille O'Neal's body. Kareem and what it, you can't you mimic, can't mimic fucking LeBron James. You can't mimic Wimby. Right? So There's only five or six. Kill is based on like physical traits. Physical traits. traits. Okay. Physical traits. It's generational. Yeah. Like like somebody like Giannis, Giannis is tweaking. Is, right? Like Jokic is not a generational talent. No, no. He's just a great basketball player. Yeah. Curry was a great basketball player. Facts, bro. Generational is some something that's once every once point. Day, yeah, yeah. Once every like when it comes you're like ah oh, damn sheesh you got that and then that's what i said and he's at three of them four of them duncan was mr fundamental he is fundamental is what took him over the top he was a great basketball player called freak of natures when the freak of nature like he's had the freak of natures so you wouldn't say steph shooting is not makes, a freak of nature makes him a freak it's of called hard work hard working absolutely hard that's work a, absolutely. His, his shooting freak is freak of nature absolutely. he is not a freak of nature like when we say freak of nature bo jackson what is he the, okay okay that's okay right yes. okay Deion sanders is jerry rice a freak uh generation Generational talent? No. No. Generational <laughs> hands. I mean, Steph played golf. No. He, he, he mean, just became. I mean, I mean, he'll, talk, they go, they go, I mean, I mean, he'll play basketball and then go win a golf tournament. That's what I like he just, just that he's a hard worker. That's what the difference between like, a, like a Michael Jordan. They're generational. They're just their engines itself is what makes them there. Would you say Kobe was a generational no. talent? He wasn't. Nope. Hard worker. Hard worker. He, well, he was a pro he was a prophet. I mean, Did that like hard work prodigy, turn him into a, a generational talent? That's what I said. It's just, it's just you got the. You, it's just a freak of. It's just. Like that's what I said. Right now we're talking about what <coughs> Wimby. You can say Luca. You can so you put Luca in there, but you wouldn't I mean, put Joker in there. Luca, six ten point guard. I mean, is the, and Luca did it when he was sixteen. He was doing it where he was coming from. Kelly, Euro League MVP. And right now it's on. That right now is where you got. I mean, no, I wouldn't say Luca because he wasn't physically demanding when he came in. It wasn't demanding. He had to. He grow into that right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't say Luca. We asked the chat to Steph Curry generational. Seventy one percent said yes, Kill. This is your chat for your show. Put like this. Then they can't be Steph Curry. You know what I'm saying is, then you can't tell your kids you can be the next Steph Curry. Can't. You can't be the next generational player. <laughs> Right? Like, like nobody, okay, so nobody, think about about it. nobody could do what Michael Jordan did. We can analyze it, but we can't go out there and mimic it. Our fadeaway wouldn't look like his fadeaway. The moves, the croc, we couldn't do that. Same thing with Magic Johnson. We couldn't, everybody couldn't go out there and be a 6'9 point guard sitting there doing little shit like that. We couldn't go out there and be Shaquille O'Neal coming in breaking fucking backboards at 7'1, right? We could not do it. We can't go out there and be fucking LeBron James. Fair. Well, y'all mean be generational? He could have been. I think so. Janky feet. That's a good one. Yeah. Right? No. Y'all mean. It's like, it's, it's, it was different. It's, it's like the yeah. difference. You be like, he's different. Yeah, yeah generation. He, he's different. Like that's what I said. Like even someone like Tom Brady, he wasn't, he wasn't generational. generational. His was his was Michael all Vick work. Was, at it. Michael Vick was yeah. generational. And then the, the, the twenty years after him came Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson and um, Cam Newton. Cam Newton, like, RG threes. Yeah. yeah, them type joints. But even them, it's like Cam Newton would probably be the closest one. Cam Mike Newton. Vick, because yeah. he came in as a six five. We never. But think about it. How six, you can't five. mimic six five. Can't. Two thirty. That's running. Yeah, fuck, yeah, he's a quarter that, going in running. That's what I'm saying. When we're talking about generate, we're talking about somebody you cannot you cannot recreate. So healthy Zion generational. Yeah. 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 yeah we never seen anything like it. Yeah. Have not seen. Yeah. yeah. Even though it was in a, it was more a smaller compact guy. Yeah. Yeah. Ray Lewis. Yes. Yeah, so Lawrence Taylor. Okay. Oh. Um, Hello Dub Nation, Stephen Curry's otherworldly shooting skills have transformed the game of basketball to the point where fans around the world prefer a three-point logo to a thunderous dunk breakaway. However, despite the revolutionary impact, Gilbert Arenas felt it appropriate to declare the two-time MVP a mere great basketball player and not a generational talent. Arenas doesn't think Steph is a generational talent. Speaking on his podcast, Agent Zero stated that only when a player possesses unique physical traits in life can they be considered generational talents, citing the examples of LeBron James, Shaquille O'Neal.
Arenas emphasized that while superstars like Steph and Nikola have had significant influences on the modern game, their play can be emulated by one or more of the next generation. As surprising as it may seem to any basketball fan to watch Arenas overlook how Steph worked tirelessly to change the game single-handedly, despite being an undersized point guard with glaring holes in his game, and guided Golden State to four championships primarily on his shooting skills three-point shot, every basketball fan felt compelled to criticize Arenas for not giving Steph her well-deserved flowers. After all, whether it's Curry or the Joker, they may not have the chiseled body like Magic or Shaq O'Neal or natural strength like Gary Payton or Wilt Chamberlain, but they can create a game-winning impact in more ways than one. Both Curry and Jokic proved that you don't have to be the biggest or strongest guy on the court to be the best in the most competitive basketball league in the world. Instead, these two are living proof that skill and versatility can replace pure physical dominance. Steph Curry, who for many is simply the greatest shooter of all time, for Arenas is just an ordinary player. Does Arenas not follow the NBA? Did Steph Curry play a sport other than basketball all these years? It's not possible, I'll stop commenting so as not to get into an argument. Dub Nation, comment below what you think about this. Do you agree with Gilbert Arenas? Stay tuned for more updates on the Warriors and remember to support by leaving your feedback in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications to know when I will send new news. Thank you for following Gold-Blooded News, a hug and see you next time. Let's go Dubs!